Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be touching on a very important topic, which is why can't people buy PS5s in the UK and around the world? So we'll be touching on five basic points. One, what are scalpers? Are they still around? Number two, the things that they use, I mean, their main weapon, which is bots. Number three, the impact the scalpers have had on the UK market and are still having presently. Number four, what the UK government is doing to stop scalping. And in the end, number five, when is PlayStation Direct coming to the UK? So please guys, keep watching the video to find out. Also guys, if you haven't please subscribe to my channel so i can keep you up to date with my latest videos and we're almost at 500 subscribers so we'll also be doing our first giveaway so please do come join us so guys let's start talking why aren't people in the uk and around the world able to buy ps5s not just ps5s but any limited edition items that come onto the market there are two main components of this riddle first is scalpers now a lot of people sometimes when i'm doing my live stream ask me what are scalpers <laughs> pretty close pretty close guys but scalpers are basically people that buy limited edition items that have a lot of demand not much supply and what they do is they sell it they sell it on websites like ebay or other places to make a profit and they charge a high profit as well just to give you guys an example of scalpers we're now on ebay and i just typed in ps5 console so this is guys 30th jan so this is today and i was just looking at the ps5s that have been sold recently on ebay so as you can see Someone just sold their PS5 today, 30th Jan, 750. Someone sold it, 30th Jan, 849, 725, 699, 727, 735. But as you can see, guys, this is 30th Jan. Can you imagine how much money if we add all this up, scalpers have made? So they've bought these PS5s not for themselves, but they're using it to make money. And what happens the people that actually want the game to play for themselves they end up losing out so number one that's what scalpers are now let's move on to their main weapon what do they use to do all this but they use something called bots now you guys might be wondering what are bots actually what these bots are guys are softwares that you can buy on the internet that can help you automate tasks when i talk about automating tasks what do i mean give you an example so let's say you want to buy a ps5 you can set up an automated bot and that will scour the internet always looking 24 7 never sleeping whenever a ps5 comes into play whenever wherever amazon very smiths it will check the ps5 out it can check them out in seconds whereas it takes you minutes it takes them seconds so just imagine this is you trying to get a ps5 and this guys are the computer bots as you can see, there's a massive difference, guys. And just to give you an example as well, I just found this right here. AIO bot. These are all-in-one bots. These are the ones that are highly in demand because there's various type of bots that you can buy that do different things. Bots like these that are all-in-one go for a really high price. So you see, you can buy this. That's $325. But then again, that's what I mean. Not a lot of people are going to spend $325 on bots. These are usually people that make profit on a lot of these limited edition items so that's basically guys what bots are and what scalpers use now let's talk about how it's impacted the uk ps5 drop so guys if you haven't please check out this wired article it just explains the whole industry how bots work everything just so you have an idea of what's happening in the uk and around the world i'll put the link in the description but basically what they're saying is which we've all seen go to a store you're in the queue for argos curry's game suddenly whilst you're in the queue it quickly says oh sorry ps5 is out of stock no! How many times have we seen that, guys? Raise your hands. So this has been happening in the previous drops. I've been covering in all my videos as well. We've seen that happen so many times. Just to give you an example right here, it happened at game. 2000 plus PS5 orders. There was a bot called Carnage Bots that secured. Another example, PS5 scalpers used a loophole to buy stock before it was live in the UK. They're talking about Argos, guys. That dropped recently. I'm pretty sure it happened at Studio. I'm pretty sure it happened at Smith's. I'm pretty sure it happened at a lot of these stores. But guys, silver lining, as I mentioned before, the UK government are keen to explore ways to stop bots and people scalping all these limited edition items and selling them for a profit. As you can see, this article is really cool if you haven't read it. Members of the UK government are keen to explore ways to ban scalper bots. And the popular radio station as well, BBC Radio 4, they did a recent episode when they discussed this as well. Do check that out if you haven't, just to give you some more information of what's happening in the industry. So hopefully this will have an impact if the government does go ahead and ban scalper bots. I really hope they do, to be honest. And guys, the other silver lining and amazing thing that I've heard is PS Direct. If you guys don't know what PlayStation Direct is, it's basically a website where you sign in, but not just sign in with anything. You sign in with your PlayStation ID. And with that, you can buy the PlayStation 
directly from the PlayStation Store. So there's no middleman, there's no Argos game, nothing. You can just buy it from them directly. You can buy the PlayStation 5 console, as you can see here, out of stock. They recently dropped this for the US as well, so they seem to be putting in more stock in there. But the really good thing that I've heard is that PlayStation Direct should be coming to the UK. So guys, as you can see, Sony's on the hunt for a director of PlayStation Direct Europe. That was December 15, 2020. Please read this article if you haven't. Link will be in the description. But as you can see, this is, these are good signs. That means that PlayStation Direct is thinking of coming to the UK market, Europe market in 2021. The reason they're doing this is obviously they don't have to go to a middleman. They can keep all the money. They don't have to pay commission, you know, and thankfully for us, it'll help stop scalpers and bots as well, especially with the addition of the PSN ID. So fingers crossed, guys. I'm really hopeful of this new development, this PlayStation Direct development. I really, really hope it happens. So guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a bit of perspective on what's happening in the wider industry and what is about to come as well. So thank you so much for watching and guys as I mentioned tonight's live stream will be from 9 to 11 p.m. so please do come join us and as I always say stay safe stay healthy and I'll catch you in another video.